Okay, so to be successful in mathematics, you have to be able to work with a number line. And what I have for you here is a lovely little problem that has to deal with a number line. So let's see how well you understand number lines. Okay, so the problem is the distance between two numbers on a number line is 19. One number is 8. What is the other number? Okay, so I'm not going to give you any hints here because I want to give you a full opportunity for you to answer this question all on your own. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second, and then of course we will thoroughly review the solution to this, and you'll walk away being an expert about number lines and of course distance on a uh, number line, okay, which is oftentimes a confused concept, but no worries. Uh, again, you will understand this thoroughly by the end of this video. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. This could be considered a bit of a trick question. Now you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, we're looking for one number is eight. What is the other number, right? So two numbers on the number line, the distance is 19. One number is eight. What is the other number? Well, actually, there are two numbers, okay? Negative 11 and 27. Now, let's suppose you got one of these uh, correct, okay? In other words, you said, oh, my answer is 27 or negative 11. So I would say in that circumstance, you did a pretty good job. I will definitely give you a happy face and an A minus, okay? So that's pretty good. But for those of you that actually got both of these correct, well, that is fantastic. I must give you an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that you are a professional certified expert in the area of number lines and distance between numbers on a number line. They'll be like, wow, I always knew you were good in math. And you can say, yes, indeed, I am. Okay, so all jokes aside, uh, this is a concept, number lines, that I think is uh, typically uh, kind of overlooked by a lot of students. Okay, it seems pretty basic and trivial, but really we want to kind of um, drill down and really make sure we understand some of these basic concepts. Okay, so here again is our problem. And I didn't give you a hint uh, at the beginning of this video because I wanted you to do this all on your own. But when it comes to any math word problem, you always want to read it at least three times, okay? Don't just read it once and you know, try to figure out what's going on here. So read it once, then read it again, try to get some details, and then read it the last time you read it. Make sure you understand the question, all right? It's a pretty common thing for students to like uh, read a problem and then you know come up with an answer and actually um, you know, they do a lot of good math, but they answer the wrong question. In other words, they're not asking or not answering the question being asked in the problem. So make sure you understand the question. Okay. And how do you do that? Just go to the question mark and back up. So one number is eight. What is the other number? And of course we have uh, these numbers. The distance between these numbers is 19. All right. So what you want to do in almost all math word problems, okay, is try to visualize it. You want to model this, sketch it out some way, and obviously we're going to want to sketch out a number line to visualize uh, what's going on here. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. And here is a beautiful number line, okay? So I think most of you are pretty familiar with this. Now, let's go ahead and just kind of see how it works. Well, right here I have zero, okay, in the middle, and as numbers, uh, as we count numbers to the right, these numbers are increasing, okay? So numbers going in this direction, and it doesn't make a difference where we start from zero, we could be starting from way over here. As you go to the right, numbers increase, okay? All right, so, uh, and they increase towards a, what we call positive infinity. Now you might be saying, oh my goodness, you know, that seems very advanced, but this right here is the infinity, um, uh, symbol, okay, and over here would be negative infinity. I'll kind of get to this in a second, uh, more about this, if you will. But this is a number line, right? So as we go one, two, three, four, 
here four, okay, is greater than one because it's further to the right. All right, so now I, some of you are saying, oh, this is so much, you know, this is all basic stuff, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I get this, but let's just review for those that don't get this, okay? So numbers to the right of uh, a number, okay, like it's going to be larger, right? So let's compare negative one and zero, okay? Which is the larger number? Well, zero is greater than negative one, so we can write an inequality like this. Zero is greater than negative one because zero is to the right of negative one. Okay, so now as numbers, uh, as we go to the right, they're going, numbers get increasingly larger and vice versa as we go to the left, numbers get increasingly smaller. Okay, eventually they'll end up at negative infinity and over here they'll end up in positive infinity. Now this number line is technically called the real number line, okay, real number line. And you should know this, we're talking about the set of real numbers. I'll give you some kind of fancy mathematical notation. You could have this big gigantic R like this or a big R with little brackets like this. This is what we call the set, okay, a set. is the entire collection of all the numbers that are on this number line. And you're gonna have to know those type of numbers, okay? Now I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but what I'm talking about is uh, counting numbers, for example, or natural numbers, like one, two, three, four, et cetera. And then when we throw in zero, zero, one, two, three, four, those are called the whole numbers. These numbers here are integers, and then we have uh, rational numbers, irrational numbers. You're gonna have to know a lot more about the real number line than what I'm kind of getting into right here. But uh, let's talk about this concept of distance. Okay, so this question is asking about distance. So distance, is going to be positive. It's always, distance is always a positive value. Uh, and uh, basically it's the absolute value between two numbers. Okay, so here, what's the distance between two and four or four and two? It would be two units, okay? So here, the distance between zero and negative two right here would also be two units away. Okay, this kind of gets into the concept of absolute value. So distance uh, is positive. Sometimes a kind of fancy word that goes with that for some of you that are into science is called displacement, okay? All right, so just a quick uh, review of the real number line and how it works. So what we wanna do is obviously model this situation, okay? So how can we do that? Well, here is our problem, and it says the distance between two numbers on a number line is 19, okay? so. 19, one of the numbers is eight, all right? So what is the other number? So what we wanna do is kind of draw a number line and we'll put eight on that number line, okay? So we know that one of the numbers here is uh, eight, okay? And the distance between two numbers, okay? One of the numbers of which uh, is eight is 19. So that means I can either go 19 out uh, positive in this direction to get to my uh, other number, right? Because this would be 19 units away from eight here on the number line, or I could go in this direction because this is also 19 units away, so I could end up over here, okay, with a, another number. That's why there is two numbers here. Now, hopefully, this is enough of a clue for some of you to be like, oh, okay, now I know how to figure this out. And even though, um, or although I showed you the answer, see if you can actually um, set up the calculations here to uh, actually answer the question. But of course, I'm going to do that right now. But before I show you that, I'm going to show you this, which is an invitation to subscribe to my channel, which is effectively, you know, for me, the way I look at it is uh, a new student in my uh, virtual classroom. Okay, this really does help me out on YouTube. It helps me reach more people that are one, uh, just interested in math, maybe want to relearn math, uh, but primarily I'm looking for those people that are really uh, struggling in math or had a tough time in math maybe years ago. I'm trying to reach those folks, okay, because if people think they're bad at something when actually they are very good at something, that really, you know, um, you know, plays on people's uh, self-confidence. It also uh, has a dramatic impact on what they think they can do. I've seen this play out over and over again through many, many years. A lot of people think they're in math or bad at math, excuse me, and they're like, you know, I always wanted to be an engineer. Or I always wanted to do this or that because I thought I was bad in math. You know, I never went for my dreams or goals. Okay. That is such a sad story. And unfortunately, it's a very, very common story. So anyways, I'm telling you right now, all of you out there, if you have aspirations and you think math is in your way, 
Do not let math get in your way. Okay, all you need is encouragement and great instruction, clear and understandable uh, instruction. That's what I try to do. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for listening listening to my little commercial. I uh, definitely appreciate it. Let's move on. Okay, so here is the uh, setup now. So now that we understand the real number line, we can understand this question a lot better, right? So the distance between two numbers is on a real number line is 19. Okay, one of the numbers is eight. So here is eight right here. So this is one of the numbers. So uh, 19, the distance between eight, uh, uh, two numbers is 19. Excuse me, the distance between two numbers is 19. One of the numbers is eight. So the only way we're gonna get that is to get uh, 19 units away from eight in this direction or in this direction. Okay, so we're going to set this up. Let's go ahead and start over here. This is much easier. Um, with eight, if we say, okay, something is 19 units away from eight, well, let's just go 19 units out this way. Okay, so we'll take this eight and we'll add 19 to it to get to this second number. So that's simply just eight plus 19. Okay, so eight plus 19, of course, is 27. So between 27 and eight is 19 units, okay, which is the distance between those two numbers. Okay, but we can also go this direction. Okay, we could take eight right here and we could subtract away 19. Okay, so of course we're gonna end up with a negative value. So eight minus 19. And by the way too, when it comes to adding um, uh, uh, adding positive and negative numbers on the real number line, when you are adding a negative number, let's just go ahead and just talk about this real quick. Eight minus 19 is the same thing as eight plus a negative 19, okay, which of course is our other answer, negative 11. So negative 11 and eight, the distance is 19. But the way you can think of negative numbers when you're counting, let me kind of go uh, through this real quick. If I have eight plus negative 19, this is a model that a lot of teachers use and a lot of textbooks use. I think it's a pretty good uh, model as well when you're learning how to deal with uh, add and subtract positive and negative numbers. So eight plus 19, you start at eight, okay? And then you're going to go negative 19 units uh, to uh, the, in the negative direction, okay, from eight. So you're gonna just count off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. You're, go, you're gonna go 19 units in this direction and where you're going to land is negative 11, okay? So directionally speaking, uh, that's one way to kind of think of positive and negative numbers on a real number line as well. Okay, so again, you know, I'm trying to cover a lot of territory. I don't want to make this video too long, but the bottom line is you need to understand uh, the real number uh, system and real number line distance. All these are kind of foundational concepts. Now, if you need help with positive and negative, num negative numbers, real number lines, basic mathematics, um, let me go ahead and just uh, suggest my Math Foundations course. You can find that uh, in the description of this video. It's basically a three-chapter little mini math boot camp for basic mathematics. It would include decimals, uh, fractions, positive negative numbers, real number system, percent, uh, things like that. You got to get the foundations down strong before you move on to more exciting things like algebra. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.